Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be importing points into Civil 3D. Let's dive right into it. So if you're here, you know importing points into Civil 3D can be an absolute pain in the butt. So I'm going to teach you how to do it the simple way, and we're going to be importing from a text file. Um, another thing to note is we're going to be doing this from metric because my text file is in metric from something I did before. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to click the drop down menu, click browse templates, and we're going to go to metric right here. So click metric. I am going to note if your points are in imperial, then do it in imperial. Um, if you don't have any points and you just want to learn how to do this, go click on the link down in the description and go and get my points. And then you can follow along almost flawlessly. I am going to say we're going to open this in a new drawing. Um, so just be aware of that. So once you have that clicked, click open. And then Civil 3D is going to bring you to a new blank sheet. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn on our grid. So we're going to come down here, we're going to turn on our grid, and our grid will show up. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Home tab, and then we're going to want to go to Points. So just follow my cursor, and up here you're going to see Points. So just click on that, and you're going to see you're, you have a variety of tools here. Um, just click Point Creation Tools, and then you should get a pop-up like this. That's going to show you the variety of tools you can use. You can, you know put your own manual points in, you can import points, you can do whatever um, with your points. And this is going to be our starting point for this lesson. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to come to the last icon on this bar here and it's going to say import points. So once you have that, click that and you're going to have this pop-up show up. When you're in this pop-up, this is where we input the points. If you missed it last week, we encourage you to go check out our AutoCAD certified user webinar. If you're interested in AutoCAD and learning how to use the program professionally, and becoming a certified user and accelerating your career, then we encourage you to go check that out. That's going to be available at the end of the week on Saturday. We'll leave a link for that down in the description, but you won't be able to access it until Saturday. So if you haven't already, go check that out. We encourage you to do so. And let's get on with the video. Points have been imported. Once they've been successfully imported, you'll get a check mark, and you're going to have to specify the point file format. For mine, it is ENZ, so that is comma delimited. And you're going to see that everything on here is exactly as I wanted it. I kept things relatively simple. This is a relatively small parcel of land that I have. And this is going to show us where our points are. So what we do now is we're going to click OK. And our points should be imported into the drawing. Once that's done, you can then go get rid of the point creation tools. We're not going to need that right now. And we're going to want to find our points. So how do we do that? Well, if you're using my file, you can go here to all points, right click, and then you can just zoom to, and then you're going to be brought to this. So you're going to notice that this is a very simple grid point format that I have here, except for one little one here. Um, it's, it's just to keep things simple and to show you what can happen. So that's how you import points into Civil 3D. Um, it's a relatively simple process. Um, just keep in mind that when you are importing points that, um, you know, you got to be careful about, uh, you know, what type of you know, separation you're using, if it's commas, periods, or whatever, and you got to make sure you specify that in Civil 3D, or else when you do that, your file is going to be completely messed up. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.